Over the years, I have traveled all over Florida. There are a few snakes that I consider common. This video is for you that are thinking about visiting Florida or you may have a home here and you're wondering what snakes you're going to see in your backyard or when you're out in the wild. The first snake is a fast one and probably the most common snake in the state. It's the very successful Black Racer. chase you down. If you live in Florida, this is a snake you will end up seeing. They are adapted to pretty much all habitats, including the urban ones. Something to note, when they are babies, they have a pattern to them. As they get larger, they will lose it. Next is the ribbon snake. They are so common in the flat woods or around wet swampy areas that when I see them I don't even photograph them anymore, unless they are very pretty, like the blue stripe ribbon snake in the nature coast. I might as well add the eastern garter snake. They're common too. Not as common as a ribbon snake, however in some areas they can be quite abundant. Abby, you see how big this thing is? That thing's huge! It's a fat garter snake. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna very carefully Pick this guy up. It's must all over me. The next snake is a venomous one, the cottonmouth, also known as the water moccasin. This snake is common in and around various different types of wetlands. And this is Florida, so there's a lot of those. A lot of people consider this snake to be highly aggressive. However, it's not true. They are just defensive. Like many other venomous snakes, biting is their last resort. Now let's move on to the rat snakes. I don't know what it is about rat snakes, but they are just my favorites. We'll start with the yellow and gray, and we'll move on to the red. When it comes to yellow and gray rat snakes, the part of the state you are in determines what snake you're going to see. Most of north central Florida and west to the panhandle, you have grays. East and south from there, you see yellows. The area in between has an intergrade zone where you can see the famous golf hammock rat snake. Now for the red rat snake, more commonly known as the corn snake. They are all over the state, in some areas quite abundant. Something to note when it comes to rat snakes are the babies. The babies all look somewhat similar. A trained eye can tell the difference. Okay, let's move on to the water snakes. Nice little water snake. Look at that. Pretty bands on it. Oh, he bit me right away. Florida has a lot of different types of water snakes. I'm just gonna name the ones that are most commonly seen. First, we're gonna look at the most common, the banded water snake, also known as the southern water snake. They're actually broken up into two subspecies in Florida, but they look similar, so I'll leave that for another video. It's a nice one, indeed. These snakes are common in nearly all wetlands in Florida, even suburban lakes and canals. Green water snakes are next. You can see them in lakes and grassy wetlands and swamps. You know, even though it's just a small snake, green water snakes have a have a nice bite. And uh, it's not gonna hurt that bad, but if it does bite me, you know what? It's gonna hurt worse than a regular water snake. I don't know why, but it does. Now let's take a swim in some of Florida's most popular swimming holes, the springs. Yes, there's snakes here too. The most common species is the brown water snake. Brown water snakes are also common in rivers and streams, also in central and south Florida canals. Now let's jump over to a venomous snake, the pygmy rattlesnake. I was wondering when we were going to see a pygmy. This little chubby, this little chub chubs. They have a very small rattle. Most of the time you can't even hear it. They are found in many habitats, but flat woods and around wetlands seems to be where they are most common. I have also seen a lot of them in the sandhills. Now let's talk about a couple common yard snakes. 
the Florida Brown, and the Ringneck Snake. The Florida Brown is on your left and the Ringneck is on your right. Florida Browns are common in Central and South Florida. Ringnecks are common throughout the state. Both of these snakes show up in people's yards. They are both harmless to us and you can pick them up with no issue. The next snake is a common springtime and falltime snake. I see them often on the roads. The rough green snake and they are pretty. Right there. Got a nice rough green snake coming out. Rough green snakes are harmless to us. They eat invertebrates. They are found throughout Florida. Okay, so that's it for this video. And remember, Florida is home to 50 species of snakes. This video only covered the snakes that I consider common. So subscribe and stay tuned for more videos to learn more.